Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Styled by Sylvia M. All things fashion, interior design, travel, and lifestyle. My name is Sylvia Menfesh. In today's video, I wanted to do a quick little comparison on the Totem T-Lock clutch and top handle bag. Uh, recently, I was in the market for a black leather bag with silver hardware specifically, and I came across these two options. So let's get right into it. So I'm sure you're familiar with Totem and currently what's trending is quiet luxury. And I feel like Totem is a key player. Um, it's an amazing entry level luxury brand. Um, the quality, the price point, I feel like it's a no brainer. So that's why I went ahead and ordered both. So both bags come in this beautiful textured pebbled leather um, with the contrast white stitching. As you notice, uh, each stitch line is different from each other. So I feel like it really gives it a subtle yet tasteful um, accent. Beautiful T-lock, it comes in the silver. Um, as you see, you just push it over to the side and it pops right up. Really easy to open and close as long as you have a great like handle on it. Um, if you're fumbling with the bag, I do think that maybe it'll be a little bit tricky to close and open, but for the most part, it doesn't really bother me. See right here, push it down and just pass it over, unlatch it, pop it open. The great thing about this bag is I feel like it's versatility. Uh, comes with a obviously clutch option without the strap, and um, it does come with a long shoulder strap that is detachable, um, has five holes, as you see right here. So you can adjust it to whatever is going to be best for your height or whatever your needs are. Um, I have it currently in the middle. Uh, I'm 5'4 for a reference. And uh, I personally feel like I would wear it more often on the longest length. And I'll show you that in a little bit. Um, but if you see the interior, I'll keep the strap on for now. But um, inside the interior has little D-rings for you to uh, put your straps in and it's very roomy comes with a micro suede interior um, which I feel like it's uh, it is synthetic but I feel like it's going to be great for easy maintenance and cleanup doesn't really bother me that it's not actual suede has a great hand feel to it as well um, you can see super spacious and roomy so it really is deceiving. You can fit a lot in here. Has one little pocket, interior pocket right there. Ideal for like credit cards, um, ID. And then you can just throw everything else in here. If you have a little pouch, I think it has enough space for that as well. So what I love about this bag is its versatility. You can easily go from a clutch to a shoulder bag. And what's great is at the longest length, you can go crossbody depending on your, your size or your body type or whatever your needs are. Um, I personally am you know, average height, I'm 5'4", um, but I am a little bit bustier. So when I wear this as a crossbody option, it does hit me right like underneath my bust. So uh, not something that I would do all the time, but it is a great option if I was traveling and I wanted it to be more secure and closer to me. So when I was getting familiar with this bag, I found a third option. And it's really easy. It's a cute little hack that I do with some of my other bags. Um, what I do is just twist the strap inside like this. So we need plenty of space inside for you to throw everything that you need and lash it cute little shoulder bag, really petite, perfect for a sundress or an occasion, uh, fits perfectly in the crook of your arm like this. And um, with that being said, three options is a no-brainer. I definitely feel like you're getting your bang for your buck. Um, really small but mighty bag and I just love the shape of it. So another thing I wanted to point out on this bag is um, obviously it has this beautiful shape, has this natural sag in the center, which is completely intentional, 
But because of the structure and the shape of this specific clutch, um, what I've noticed is that if you kind of mold this bag and, and have it sit up and fold it, it just stays this way. It has a very streamlined shape now, really clean, but easily will go back to its natural shape if you just snap it back. Um, and I think it's really beautiful either way. So if you are holding it as a clutch um, and you wanted it just obviously straight and you wanted to hold it from the top, I think this is a great option. Okay, so now let's dive into the top handle option. As you can see, it comes in the same beautiful textured pebbled leather with a contrast white stitching. The top handle is permanently fixed and it does not move. Uh, so once you do open the bag, push it back like this, because the bag is so moldable, um, it doesn't really get in the way, even though it kind of sits right in the center, uh, just kind of push it down, you can get right into it. As you can see, the interior has the same micro suede with a larger flat pocket in the back. Um, I'd say it's ideal for like travel if you have your passport or your credit card wallets, anything else you can just easily throw in there. You don't want to do anything too bulky because obviously it is a uh, flat, flat pocket, but the interior is extremely spacious. And because of the adjustable detachable strap, you can easily just make this bag a pop handle bag. Press this down and latch that over. And there you go. So like I mentioned before, unlike the clutch, when you have this clutch positioned this way and you have it streamlined straight across, uh, this will maintain its shape um, as long as you're like holding it from the top um, or even at the bottom. So for the top handle, once you fold this up, if it's maintained on a flat surface like a table, uh, it will keep its shape. However, once you do pick it up, uh, it will just naturally sag in the center of the saw. Uh, what happens is the sides of the handles will kind of force it back to fold in on the center. And that's the appeal of this bag. I mean, all of them, whether it's the clutch or the top handle, it has this beautiful, beautiful natural wave in the center, gives it something interesting. And so I wouldn't really change that. It's just a fun little you know, option. So another side note worth mentioning is if you're like me and you couldn't decide between the two and you got both, the straps would be interchangeable. Now, the top handle comes with the shorter strap and the clutch comes with the longer shoulder strap. Now, if you feel like the top handle bag would be too short for you with the strap that it comes with, you can interchange it with the longer one and vice versa. Um, I know that I mentioned earlier for the little hack for the shorter strap option in the clutch, um, instead of just, you know, twisting the strap inside and, and making it shorter, if you did happen to have the larger top handle bag, you can take that strap and put it with the clutch and you have a shorter shoulder strap option just to show you this is at the shortest option and if you wanted to use that for the clutch now let's go ahead and see what fits inside the clutch so i'm going to go ahead and put my sunglass case card wallet contact Maybe some ear pods. I have an embarrassing amount of keys, but there you go. And you still have plenty of space to put your phone in there. Um, 
close that up. And there you go. It's pretty heavy, but you know, like I said, it's, it's very deceiving. It fits plenty in here. You can actually probably put in a few more items if you'd like, but there you go. That's what fits inside my clutch. Now let's go ahead and see what fits inside the top handle. Once you open it, I will put my wallet inside this back pocket. Put my sunglasses. If you need to, you know, go to the office and work or you have a book that you want to read, you can put like an agenda or, or you know, a book in there. Um, I have my little makeup bag from Longchamp, put that in there. And keys off to the side. Your pods. And oh. now it's full, but you know, if you don't need the agenda or like your iPad or book, it'll definitely feel a lot lighter, but it fits everything. Now let's do an actual side-by-side -side comparison between the two. Put my glasses on so I can read some of these specs for you. Um, for the clutch, you have the height at five and a half, which is 10.2 inches and the depth is three and a half. And for the top handle, you have the height of 6.7 inches. The width is 13.7 and your depth is 4.5 inches. Now, if you're actually, you know, doing it side by side like this, There. This is how it looks in front of each other in terms of the width. And again, your depth. Depth is pretty similar, it's not a big difference. Hopefully a side-by-side -side comparison was helpful for you uh, to be able to determine which would be best for you and your needs. But like I said, they're a great option for an entry-level designer bag. So um, you're getting your bang for your buck either way, whether you get the top handle or the clutch. Thank you so much for watching my comparison video. I hope it was helpful and informative and it gets you one step closer to being able to decide between which option is going to be best for you. So I appreciate your follow and I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.